a former spokesperson for Donald Trump has slammed Meghan Markle for her recent actions towards the royal family and said she needs to start respecting the Queen. President Trump's former senior advisor Jason Miller called out the Duchess of Sussex just days after her and Harry's controversial photoshoot with Time magazine. The remarks were made shortly after Meghan and Harry were named among the world's 100 most influential people as listed in the popular publication. It comes just six months after the Duke and Duchess accused a member of the royal family of racism in a scandalous interview with Oprah Winfrey. During the explosive interview, Meghan told Oprah that staff had dismissed her calls for help after she allegedly confided in him because she felt suicidal. Number one rule of being a royal is don't disrespect the Queen, Miller told the Sun. I think she should have more respect for the institution of the royals and I think that when you marry into the royal family there's a certain sense of decorum that I think that you're signing up for that you need to check some of your thoughts and ambitions at the door. Miller, who is the CEO of free speech social media network GETTR, added, I think when you position yourself in a way that is elevating your own interests above the families or the crowns, then it seems that that's probably not going to meet a receptive audience. Meghan and Harry were listed under the icons section in Time magazine, which praised the couple and brushed past their royal rift. Jose Andres, whose food relief charity works closely with the couple's charitable organization, the Archwell Foundation, wrote, in a world where everyone has an opinion about people they don't know, the Duke and Duchess have compassion for the people they don't know. They don't just opine. They run toward the struggle. Springing into action is not the easy choice for a young Duke and Duchess who have been blessed through birth and talent, and burned by fame. It would be much safer to enjoy their good fortune and stay silent. That's not what Harry and Meghan do, or who they are. They turn compassion into boots on the ground through their Archwell Foundation. Meghan and Harry have since said that they were humbled to be featured on Time magazine's prestigious list and praised the Director General of the World Trade Organization, Akonjo Awela, who was also shortlisted in the glossy mag. They said, Each of us can change our communities, all of us can change the world.